Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Jermaine Morgan TV. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about this Squire Jazz Bass, so stay tuned. All right, so jumping right into it, this video is sponsored today by none other than Sweet Water. If you haven't checked out Sweetwater.com, be sure to do that right after this video. As a matter of fact, I'm going to post a link to this particular base where you can go and check out all the specs over at Sweetwater right now. And they have a great deal on this particular base. I wanted to do a review and talk about this base because I actually been checking it out on their site for some time. I mean, let's be honest. As soon as you see this base, it's like an attention grabber. I didn't know what kind of base it was. I just saw the little thumbnail pop up. Uh, in, a, in a sweet water ad on my uh, email one day and I wanted to check out what that bass was and it just so happened to be a Squire bass and I was like yo this is crazy so yeah the folks over at Sweetwater were cool enough to send this over so that I could check it out put my hands on it for myself get a good feel of it and also let you guys know about the bass get a good honest reaction about the bass and let you know what I think about it and so far, this thing is crazy. All right, so let's go through a few of the specs on the bass. So right off the bat, obviously you can see this is a jazz bass body for this particular bass. And uh, really, really slick design. You can see that it has this nice satin finish on it. Not too shiny. It's just a nice satin finish that they have on it. I thought that was pretty cool, uh, pretty dope looking. And the same thing for the headstock here. They have this satin finish on the headstock as well with their Squire and Jazz Bass logo on the top of here. Now, I do want to make mention of this. This particular uh, model is a Sweetwater exclusive, which means you can't find this particular bass nowhere else but on Sweetwater, right? So you can find this, and it's different from the standard uh, Squire that's made like this. It has a black pickup cover and a, a number of other features that are a little different. Now, this bass is active. It has two humbuckers in it. It's a 9-volt uh preamp that's in this base uh, black inlays the fretboard and the neck are both maple right and uh, has a nice black trim that goes around the fretboard that, that kind of ties in that satin black all the way so it's a 34 inch scale 20 frets the eq setup on this base is pretty straightforward it even comes with this little diagram as most bases do uh, that's removable but you have a, a volume a pan a tone control then you have the bass and the treble stack here. So you have your treble on top and the bass on bottom are the lows and highs, if you will, uh, stack here at the bottom. So the preamp is pretty nice in this bass considering. Um, so of course, everybody wants to know, oh, what did the bass sound like? So just kind of going through a few of the tones on this bass. So this is me playing off the neck pickup. Finger style there. Now, my highs are boosted all the way with this particular setting. The tone is all the way up. I'll roll off the tone, do the same thing. So you can see that's a lot warmer. All right, so let me roll off this front pickup. I'll go and blend halfway 12 o'clock with both pickups. Right, and so that's with the tone roll all the way off. So I'll roll this tone up for that setting as well. And this is the tone up halfway right here. Right, I 
I'll roll that tone all the way up now. And that's blending both pickups. Highs are still boosted. So we get a nice little uh, funky slap tone there with that boosted. So now I'll roll off these highs so you can kind of hear that we can still get that P bass sound out of here still with these humbuckers. And now this is with me having the uh, highs all the way down, the tone is all the way up, and I'm still halfway in between 12 o'clock with that pan. Right, so you're getting a nice sound, and I'll go all the way to that front pickup so you can kind of hear the difference. Right, so that's with the front pickup all the way. Now I'll go back to the back pickup. We still have the highs all the way off. Play a little bit closer to that bridge. Now I'm gonna bring in the highs just a little bit to add a little more clarity to it. So I'm blending like halfway in between the mid, like halfway in between 12 o'clock and all the way back with this uh, blend. So it has a really, really nice tone to it over, surprisingly a nice tone. But as I said on my last Squire video, if you guys watched that one, these basses will shock you. Every now and again, these Squire basses will shock you. So that's pretty much an overview of the tones on this bass. I didn't want to spend a lot of time. I think you guys pretty much have the idea. I just wanted to do a quick run through of the bass so you can get an idea. You can hear it real time, see what it sounds like. If you're like me, and you've been checking it out on the Sweetwater site and you wanted to know for yourself what the bass sounds like. Hopefully this gives you a good overview but of course nothing is going to beat you putting your hands on the actual base so do yourself a favor and go check it out at Sweetwater again I put that link below where you can see this and get all the specs all the things you want to know for you super technical people who are going to ask me in the comment section all the details surrounding this base I will put the link below go to Sweetwater and <laughs> you can find out everything anyway guys thank you so much for checking this out Listen, do me a favor, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on my bell notifications so you know when I post a new video, you know when I go live, that way you don't miss anything because I got more reviews coming for you just to give you uh, some thoughts on some different instruments. And if you have any suggestions, be sure to drop them in the comment. You never know, I might wanna check out what you're suggesting. So be sure to drop that below and maybe I'll see if my friends at Sweetwater wanna send that over so I can check it out and give you guys a good idea of what that sounds like as well. As always, I appreciate you guys for being here, for hanging around and rocking with me. I will see you on the next video. I'm out, take care, peace. Thank <laughs> you.